And then she said that my outfit didn't work. And I was like, excuse you. My outfit is a perfect combination of like, please remove me from my trash can prison, but also like sexual grunge. And if you can't get that vibe, then that's like a problem with you, you know? Anyway, here's a news show. Boop, doop, 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 doopy, 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 doop, boop, doop, 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 doop. People are always saying to me, like, Dodger, how do you have so much integrity? And it's because I bring you the cold hard facts. I talk about things that you want to know. Like the fact that Jake Gyllenhaal is totally going to be producing and possibly starring in the Division movie, ew. Okay, not ew because he, like, doesn't have body karate or anything because he totally does. But, like, ew because out of all of the possible video game movie adaptations, this one is, like, so vanilla it's giving me a migraine for real. Like... Yeah, okay, of course, the Division movie is going to do super fine because it looks like every other movie on the block, and I know what you're thinking. But Dodger, I'm totally going to spend my hard-earned cash to see some hot bods, and you can't stop me. And, like, that's fine, but you're, like, low-key part of the problem. And if nobody wants to see a video game movie unless it's, like, so boring, then what is the point? Do you get me? The Sims is, like, finally stopped being a grandma and taking out gender boundaries in their game. Like, seriously, The Sims is supposed to be about freedom to create whatever people you want to make and then, like, make them smooch or die in the pool or whatever. And the fact that my friend Stephanie's Sim couldn't wear guy clothes is, like, so last century. And my transitioning friends don't even bother because, like, how are they going to make an actual representation of themselves when you have to, like, have specifically boy stuff or girl stuff? Like, what is this? The toy section at Target? And, like, some people are saying that they're just doing it for attention, but seriously, who cares? Like, okay, I gave an old lady's purse back to her last week so that I could feel good about myself and justify buying four Apple teenies. And, like, that doesn't mean that giving the old lady's purse back wasn't a good thing to do. Side note, Apple teenies are red as f***. Okay, so, like, even though I'm super disappointed that the primary Overwatch ship is McCree and Hanzo, I am, like, so jazzed that they're banning cheaters. And right now you might be saying, "Ah, Dodger, those two things have nothing to do with each other, in which case, step off and check yourself. Anyway, like, most game companies are, like, when your mom says no TV, but then totally lets you watch TV. Like, geez, mom, what exactly was I supposed to learn there? That I run this house? Because I totally do. Anyway, so Blizzard was like, if you cheat, we're over. And like my friend Chad always says, a cheater is a cheater forever. So, like, 1,500 people totally got permabanned. And guess what? Even if you try a new server or buy a new copy of the game or change your number in her phone or send her those flowers that she loves, you are not getting back in there, mister. Moral of the story is like, yeah, hack seems super fun and like nobody's going to find out, but it is so not worth it. You need to treat yourself and your loved ones better and also just like stop drawing McCree and Hanzo. God, they've like barely interacted in the canon and like, okay, I get it. They were both leaders of gangs and they're like super daddy, but cool it. There are so many characters who deserve to make out with each other. Anywho, so like that's been my show or whatever. I hope you like it. You have to watch my show with my friend Becky called Waifu Report. Because, like, this week we talked about Hatsune Miku and how she's like a sack of hot garbage. And if that statement makes you angry, then you're wrong. So watch my stuff, follow my socials, and bye, bitches.